please welcome Lena Dunham, everybody. Lena Dunham. I like your blue dress. That was a guess. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, I you, knew you were blue. What are you doing there? What are you I was doing? just tucking in the hem a little bit. I have oh, some, really? po some support garments I'm keeping tucked in. Spanx? It's not that exactly. It's something like that. Oh, really? What? But, uh, <laughs> what, what is like Spanx? Just like an underwear that's like, okay, it's Spanx. It's all Spanx. right, Spanx. Because right. I'm wearing Spanx. I always wear Spanx. That's what keeps me together. <laughs> you look great. Without Spanx, I'm like that blancmange on the first series of Star Trek. Do you know the one I mean? Okay. I'm going to tell you two things. Okay. Never seen Star Trek. Never seen Star Wars. Seriously? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. How long have you been in Al-Qaeda? <laughs> it's this crazy thing where it's like I didn't see it because it's not really in my wheelhouse. I like movies about girls and movies about love and movies about awkward stuff. And it just didn't seem like it was encapsulating all of my desires. So I didn't see it. And then it started to be this kind of cool thing that I hadn't seen it. Like you could go to a party and if you had anything, nothing else to say, you could just be like, well, I've never seen Star Wars. And everyone's like, <gasps> and so... <laughs> But you're scaring me. Some people think it's really cool and cute. No, it is kind of interesting, I suppose. Yeah, and but, some people think but it's totally... do, uh, now, but now it's an affectation. You you must actually see them. You have to. You're a filmmaker. You should see this work. I know. I was. I may watch it. I have a date to maybe watch it with some seven-year-olds on Saturday, but <laughs> I might back out. You might back out of a date with seven-year-olds. What a lovely person you are. <laughs> I Have you told them you're going to be there? I want to hang out with them. I just right. don't know if I want to watch the movie. And the craziest thing is that this past summer, I took a trip to Skywalker Ranch. You've been to Skywalker Ranch? You've never even seen the movie? That's great. I know. That's and I was like, I was, I was totally doing this, this act where I'd be like, that is a tremendously good lightsaber. <clears throat> do you know what? I do that all the time here when people come out with their movies and I haven't seen them or don't know anything about them. I'm like, oh, the movie's so... Adequate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I no, I know what you mean. But yeah. you, I think you should see them if you. Well, what kind of films do you make then? I would say they're comedies, but with sad stuff in them. Ah. So that's what's with some sad stuff in them. But they're comedies about well, the, my movie's sort of about me, and it's about a young girl. The tiny, tiny furniture. The tiny furniture. What, now, what's that? Is it about someone who's plagued by tiny furniture? <laughs> it's about. <laughs> She can't get it out of her life. It's like hornets. No, she, she, it's about a girl who's just graduated from college and moves back in with her mom and her sister. And her mom's job is she's a photographer who takes pictures of tiny furniture. And that's my mom's job in real life. And really? my mom plays my mom in the movie. And my sister plays my sister. And so we... it's a documentary then? <laughs> Listen, Craig, I wrote this movie. No, it's, <laughs> it is, it's not a documentary. It is a narrative film with a lot of real life elements in it. Oh, all so, right. So, like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, all right. I've yeah. never seen it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, it's not a documentary. No. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Think I don't, about no, it. No, no, that's interesting. I see you're sporting some ink there. You have uh, tattoos? I do. I have um, six or seven, depending on how you look at it. I know you have some tattoos. Yeah, I got three, but I know exactly how many I have. How come you... <laughs> How, how do you, I mean, six or seven, what is it, are, well, are they joined in some way? There's two that might be one and they might be two, and I kind of like, depending on how badass I want to sound, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I've got seven. Sometimes I'm like, I only have six. So. No, then, no, it's, it's bad luck to an, have an even amount of tattoos. You must have an odd amount of tattoos. Do you think that's true? I was told it by a tattoo artist, so it must be true. Wow. <laughs> Well, two of my tattoos, I stopped at four, but then um, my best friend Jemima, one of my best friends, Jemima, she... Are you just friends with her because her name's Jemima? <laughs> well... Some truth in that, isn't there? Some truth? <laughs> her name is Jemima Kirk, and she's a very glamorous British woman, but the funny thing is that for a while when you Googled her name, the first thing that you would see was, I kid you not, a black woman pouring syrup on her breasts. <laughs> K-I-R-K-E. And I'd, CBS in no way endorses this kind of thing. I, so there's, and there's this uh, African-American woman pouring... Uh, maple syrup on maple her breast. Sy you know that's it's, not it's my maple friend. syrup, then. That's not my friend. I would be friends with that woman. It's just not my friend. I'd, I'd be friends with her, too. <laughs>
<laughs> well, there you are then. Yeah, uh, but we... Jemima can do tattoos with like like prison style tattoos. So I also have two tattoos Jemima gave me just in her house because one night Paranormal Activity was sold out. So I just let her tattoo her dog's head on my breast. <laughs> You know, that's a, that's a pretty extreme reaction to boredom right there. Right? You know, you might, might want to think about a video game or something. Like, you, know, you build up to that, oh, what the hell, tattoo my breast. Uh, did, so you have her dog's head tattooed on your breast? It's not like right on my breast. It's in the breast area, but it's not right on my breast. It's right, what, right there. Around the corner, it's sort of breast and adjacent. like you, I also have a snake. I do? Well, yeah. it's not, it's the, well, it's kind of a snake. Yeah, I suppose it's a snake. Well, yeah, here. That's right. a snake. It's a chopped up snake. It's chopped up snake, yeah. yeah. And then there's, I've added bits. It goes all the way around to my penis now. <laughs> <laughs> I really like yours is nicer than mine because Jemima did that one too. Well, you see, when you said she does prison style tattoos, yeah. that's not necessarily good. <laughs> you know, I'm, I've never given a tattoo, but my guess is I could yeah. probably give prison style <laughs> tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Hers are very artful. I will say people see them and they're impressed. They're like, it almost looks professional. So it almost looks professional. Is that, look, I'm not your father, but is that what you want from a tattoo? You know, you know like, almost professional? It's more about the memory. I will say I love them because I love her, but I, the one, the snake is on the top part of my butt and it's a snake wrapped around the moon. And it's the kind of thing that I feel like anytime I'm lucky enough to have someone in the room with me while I'm naked. I have to explain it. I have to explain it, and it's yeah. exhausting, frankly. What you want to do is not explain it. You mean just... You know, when you're in the room naked with someone and they're looking at your tattoo on your butt and they say, what's that about? You go, I don't wish to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what if I acted really surprised? I was like, holy crap. How I did that get there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be even better. Okay. And then blame them for doing it. And then... You they were like, no, I've never tattooed. You tattooed a snake around the moon on my ass. <laughs> I had no idea. So we, we talked about your movie then, didn't we? We did. Can oh, I tell you. you something that I feel about you? Do you have to? I do. Okay. Which is that I am a very big fan of your work in the 1999 film, The Big Tease. Oh, I, I'm fond of The Big Tease. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I like that movie. I've seen it maybe 10 times. No, I, I like love that it. movie, yeah. I love it. No, so, I, you know, I, was play, I played a gay man in that movie, and just while, while I was making the movie, my yeah. uh, apartment at the time was being decorated, and it was being decorated by, surprisingly, a gay man. <laughs> and I came home one day, and I was very tired. We'd been working a long, long day. It was like 17, 18-hour yeah. day, and it, you know what filming can be like. And I, and I got in, and I went, oh, God. And he was up there, and he was doing some, hanging some curtains or stuff. And I went, oh, <laughs> dude, I'm so tired of being gay. <laughs> and he was... And he was hanging up this thing and he went, it can be exhausting. <laughs> you were really good at it. Thank you. And then Thanks. I meet you in person and you're so virile and you're just so hetero when I talk to you. No, unreal, I no. think I'm a bit gay. I think... Apart from the sex with men, I'm gay, I think, really, you know. Like, I like shoes and Project Runway and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think... I think all the best guys are like, my, I'm very close with my father and he's not, he's not gay, but... Well, he clearly could. he's had straight moments. Yeah. <laughs> he's had a couple. Yeah. He's not gay, but he could be. Like he's def like he's very dapper in a way where you could kind of go like, what's going on here? I don't yeah. want to feed stereotypes, but yeah. wait a minute, his yeah. shoes and belt match. Yeah, yeah. stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stuff oh, like yeah. that where you're like, what are your pajamas made of? Cashmere. Cashmere you say? pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we're out of time actually. Oh, but yeah. I want to stay all day with you. Night, night, all night. No, I. I... <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> Please forgive my skeleton. Uh, no, we're, not, we're completely out of time. Okay. We can't encourage that kind of behavior. Great. Uh, so let me just get this straight. Jemima Kirk, right? Uh, uh, mouth organ or awkward one? Mouth organ. Oh, I thought you were a mouth organ girl. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All okay. right, let's get going. I'm not trained, but I think everyone who plays this just sounds like a cowboy, right? Sure, why not? Uh, Am I doing you the right side? No, you have to take oh, it out of the, the box. Yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult. Very difficult to get it to work. Oh my god, a fresh one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fresh one. No, you're not, you, you, it's, you, I've tried. It's, I thought it was just like a modernist harmonica. I had no sense. Okay. No? Ready, ready. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Go. <laughs> Lena Dunham, everybody.
the lovely Lena Dunham, everybody. Lena Dunham. Really lovely. I love your Thank outfit. You. It's got a little bow there. I have to say that I saved it specifically for you. Oh, it wouldn't fit me, but it's <laughs> lovely. I thought that it felt a little bit like I was like the hoeiest girl in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> if that if that image what doesn't. Lovely <laughs> to see you. To be here, also, I've missed you. I've missed you too. What have you been doing? Well, you've been making this thing. Mm -hmm. I've been working on this yeah, show. Yeah, it's Which HBO. Is... You know what that means if it's on HBO. It's not TV. And. <laughs> and. If your show doesn't work on HBO, yeah. it's not their fault. No. Why isn't it their fault? Because they, they're good. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. my fault. Yeah, yeah, because if, if, you like, if your show doesn't work on HBO, because HBO, like, they put on ads and they get it on and they tell everybody about it. And I so know. If your show doesn't work, it's your fault. It's because people turned it on and they were like, we are no, not, no, no, not no, like right, that girl. No, no, but I think people, you're going to be fine. It's about girls, Thank this show. Then. It's about girls. It's about a group of girls who've just graduated from college and all the sort of challenges of life immediately after college. I don't know if you found that to be a challenging period of time. <laughs> I didn't go to college. So then it was very challenging. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> yeah, well, I went to some colleges for events <laughs> where <laughs> girls were involved, but they, uh, but but not for. Did you go to college? I did go to college. Yeah, of course you did. Look I at went you, to, you. but I don't. I wouldn't say I was that great at college. I went and like it was sort of a miracle to me every time a semester ended and I hadn't been like sort of sent out of my dorm with like a garbage bag full mm, of my stuff. Which college did you go to? I went to a college in Ohio called Oberlin College. Oh, Oberlin College. Oberlin. That sounds Oberlin. like that sounds great. Sounds like a Bond villain college. <laughs> I always think it sounds like kind of like a ye old village where people are frolicking and dancing around a maypole, which is sort of what it was. Oberlin. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Oberlin. Why don't you come on over here and grab yourself a nice cup of me? <laughs> Like, there was a lot of people who did like Ren Fair stuff. I like a Ren Fair. Yeah, me too. I like it when the ladies, you know, go for that middle ages push your boobies together <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's a good look. And there was like a lot of people, there was a whole dorm that was devoted to live action role play, LARPing. Wow. Do you know about LARPing? No, but I want to badly. <laughs> what is live action? You'd be role great at it because everyone's pretending to have an accent like yours when they LARP. LARPing is like, um. <laughs> LARPing is like a bunch of people will get together and they'll be like, you're a demon, I'm an ogre, and that's our wench. In actuality, we're three Jewish college students. You're right. But in this imaginary universe, and then Let's they... Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's I do mean, it. Right. Okay. All right. How would it work? So... Well, you, you decide what we are then. Um... Okay. You're a snake charmer. Mm -hmm. got, guess where I got that idea? Mm -hmm. I am a fairy who turns into a lizard at night. Can, Our challenge. Can, can I be the fairy? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you be, you be the snake charmer. I'll but be the there fairy. There has to be like a like like. Can we use that bag of money that you have over there? Because there has to be a goal. I'm beginning to suspect a trick. <laughs> Which would be like. All fairies talk <laughs> like this. <laughs> Like, well, the craziest thing, I don't mean to interrupt our LARP, no, but no, like no. the things you would see, um, like you'd be walking across campus, perfectly normal day, although perfectly normal day at Oberlin was like, there was a day where there was just a depressed student sitting in front of the student center, just reading out the names of everyone who died in the Holocaust over a megaphone. <laughs> so you'd be like walking to class, like, okay, it's just a typical day at college. And then suddenly through your path, literally dances like seven transgendered fairies. All right, you see? Amazing. And like, then like a really short uh, Puerto Rican kid dressed as an elf. And then you're, oh. That's the LARPers then. That's yeah, the LARPers. That's the LARPers. That and usually the, there's a goal like all semester long, the goal is to get this bag of money. But we're going to do it in like the next 30 right, seconds. Right, we'll do it right. So we have to get I this bag of money. I never did it. I was never a LARPer. Well, it's all right. So. Let's try it. I okay. never did it either. Okay. Um, or uh, did this. Um, so. <laughs> So I'm the snake charmer. You're a snake charmer. You're, You're the, snake the fairy. I I'm mean, the fairy. I, I think what I'm going to do is like, let's actually, you know what? Let's change the game. Let's make this into a jug of um, homemade swine wine. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, you're really asking you to go out and live here, and I like it. And then I'm going to give it to you. I'm just going to trade it to you for the money. 
We've started, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. So, I, well, I'm the fairy from... You're a fairy... Well, we didn't talk about where you're from. Well, I... I Glendale. I'm Glendale, fairy California. From, I'm a fairy from Glendale, California. <laughs> mm -hmm. I and, see. <laughs> and I'm a... It's hideously close to the truth. <laughs> Because my favorite, I love your show, but one of my favorite things you've ever done is play a homosexual hairdresser. Oh, it's yes, it's a big tease. Yes, yeah. I liked doing that. I did a yeah. lot of hair there. Do you ever do any hairdressing? On other people? Mm. It's great fun. It is. I mean, you got to practice probably. For oh, them. yeah, yeah. But you have, when you're training, you have to practice on dead people. <laughs> did you do that? No. <laughs> you go there like, I you're trained to be a hairdresser or something. You go, Practice on dead people? Who's gonna let you practice on dead? Like you go to a hospital and say, I'd like to be a hairdresser. Can I can I go to the morgue, please? I would literally, by the way, believe anything you said to me because your eyes are so blue-green. <laughs> yes. You're reminding me of the times I went to college. No. <laughs> time so um we didn't uh we didn't do any role playing sort of we kind of we got um, i i got this whoa no you didn't but but you can if you want to go for the big cash prize do you what's my other option awkward pause or mouth organ i want the cash prize what time is it john it's time for the big cash prize, big cash prize. two ways to win you can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box here's how that works i imagine okay. a box in my head i don't know what's in it only jeff knows what's in it you guess by the way jeff's my enemy <laughs> the hell? Yeah. I didn't know this. When did this happen? I was I was talking about it earlier with my mom. She hates him too. Do you know what's We love you. Do you know, I have to tell what? you, I saw some research today. Jeff doesn't know about this. But they brought me some of the CBS research and apparently women don't like Jeff. <laughs> He's creepy. But, no, no. I think it's Jeff doesn't like women. <laughs> oh. I don't think Jeff's. So creepy. you think Jeff's Jeff... a fairy from Glendale? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeff's lovely. He's a very charming. You should get to take a long time to get to know him. He's adorable. Yeah, right? we'll go out. We'll go out and get some swine wine together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so you don't want to do the. You want to do the question then? Yeah, I want to do the question. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Which animal was domesticated first, cats or dogs? In Reykjavik or just generally? Well, you, you had an interesting codicil, but I, I think that... I think probably generally. I believe that it was dogs. Why do you believe that? Because I think that they're easier to... I think they're stupider. <laughs> I, I can't disagree with that, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you are absolutely correct. It was in fact dogs. <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait, no, sorry, sorry. Wait, that's the kind of response you give to winning fifty dollars? It's you fifty dollars. Like... Yeah, in quarters. In a bag with a dollar sign on it, it's like you're some kind of... This is amazing because my building's laundry machine requires quarters. <laughs> you showbiz types always showing off. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. I mean, you just look sensational. I love your dress, your hair. Thank you so much. It's really nice. I just snotted on my own face. I know. I... <laughs> well, that's nice because you, you, you're you really Hollywood. I thought she's gone Hollywood and then boogers. I thought she's still <laughs> okay, here. Yes. I'm so excited to see you. I look forward to coming here constantly and I can't believe your new studio. It's so It's beautiful. nice, isn't it? Look at the size of it. I know. We've got Jeff's got his own place, a stable for secretary. It's nice because now Jeff's a little farther away from me. And Are you frightened of Jeff? I've told you that. You, you're a little frightened of Jeff and you don't like Jeff. And I think it's time now that you, you should like him. 
I want you to change your opinion because then it'll make me happy, like in a relationship. Could he say something sweet to me? Yeah, yeah. Could you could you say something sweet to Lena? I love girls so much. Yeah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's it. He's your biggest fan, although he won't take his top off. He had such a quivering vibe. I like him more now. Oh, yeah. He's, he's intimidated by your enormous success. It's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. When you first came here, you were a chimney sweep. And now... <laughs> It was a chimney sweep. It was like the best day of my life when I first came here. Yeah, no, because you were a chimney sweep. We dragged you from the chimneys. <laughs> and you gave me... It was like that part of that book, The Little Princess, where, like, people find an orphan in the street and give her, like, cinnamon buns, give her yeah. a great afternoon, then send her back into the street again. Are you saying that we sent you back into the street again with no cinnamon buns? Kind of. I came here and you had turkey sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we know how to treat the celebrities. <laughs> hey! Do your breasts smell a bit like dogs, though? <laughs> That's a great question. That dog is adorable. Yeah, yeah, so are you. And it got me obsessed. I actually, after we shot that scene, I sort of wrote the puppies in just like, you know, as a half-hearted prop, and then I became dog-obsessed, and I actually just adopted a dog last week. Well, congratulations. Thank That's you. lovely. Uh, great. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's good. What kind of a... Uh... What kind of a dog? It's rather unclear to all of us. He... I would not be totally surprised if I found out he was like, um, like a gremlin or like a... Like a rat in a dog hat. Wait, wait, a dog hat? They have a like, dog hat? He kind of looks like he could be some other animal that, like, put on, like, yeah, a Yeah, I've dog. got a dog like that. Do you have a dog yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I've got a dog like that. They call like it a French bulldog. I'm oh, like, yeah, yeah, really? No. Yeah, mine, I don't think so. Mine kind of looks like a creep that put on bell bottoms and came over to my house. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I think you got a French bulldog right there. That's what. It... He. They told me. Someone told me he was a cockapoo, which is disgusting. <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you just say that again, Lena? Cockapoo. That's a real dog. Yeah. No, it is. It's a cross between a cocker spaniel and a, and a yeah, poo. Yeah, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> a poodle. If you look at him. You know there's no... Crikey. And there's no poo in that dog. <laughs> I mean, there's just... <laughs> really good to see you. I, I've missed you. I really have missed you. I, I missed you, too. I really... I do like this new look you're, you're doing. I do like your hair like this. It's Thank elfin. You. I've always thought you've had a very attractive elfin thing going Thank on. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it's good. I cut it off the day after we wrapped season two. I just... Well, I was in this insane panic. I called everyone I know, being like, I might cut my hair. And they were like, okay, fine. And then I called them back 10 minutes later, I'm absolutely not doing it, so don't sound the alarms. And then... Yeah, nobody cares that yeah, no. much. Uh... <laughs> but did you just break up with someone? Usually when girls cut their hair, I've noticed in my life, I'm not saying all girls do this, but sometimes, i got to say, you know, when girls break up with someone, there it goes. It's uh... Absolutely true. I didn't. I didn't. I was... The, the romantic circumstance of my life had stayed relatively the same. But I just felt like... Wait, wait, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> What's going on? You've got a boy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Anyway, oh, all you. right. No, it's great. Yeah. No, it's so... It is really nice. Yeah. It's, it's just an area of your life that's handled and pleasant and... I'm, just a, I'm a disaster in all areas. No, stop it. You're not. What you are is you're real and you're human. There's nothing wrong with that. You have vulnerabilities you, and, sir. you know, little frailties. But that doesn't mean... You know, I have to tell you. I have to tell you. I want to tell you this. I, yeah. the, you get a lot of the people coming here and they, they pretend everything's awesome in their life. And, you know, I can see them and it's not. Well, everything actually... I get what you're saying. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Everything actually is awesome for me. But... But you're pretending it's not. <laughs> yeah. Nice way to go. No. Yeah. I get exactly what you're saying, and I, and that goes... That runs counter to my whole ethos, but I think things are good. It's just if I'm... Like, I know that there's all these rules about how you're not supposed to talk about your boyfriend, so then I'm worried that I'll do it, and everyone will think I'm a loser, and then I will... Ah, it's just... You know what? See all these people that you're worried about? Strudel. You know, seriously. Yeah. You know. They, they, I, I don't... Thank you, Craig. It's true. You know, Thank you so much. It's absolutely the truth. I, you know, you think about people go, oh, you suck on the internet and stuff. I'm like, okay. Then yeah. there's like 400 channels on TV. Watch somebody else. Sacre bleu. You know. know. Do you read stuff? It's true. Really? It's true. Do you ever read it? If, do you read? Do you Google yourself? I used to. I stopped quite a long time ago now. I, for the first couple of years I was doing the show when it, you know, I was amazed it was still on the air. So I would like... <laughs> 
Yeah. Kind of still am. Yeah. And I would Google myself and I got very involved in looking at how all that was going. And then I was like, oh no, that's not, it doesn't make you happy. No, it doesn't. Although my theory about, it really doesn't. Although my theory about Googling yourself is like, people are always like, you know, who even has the time for it? But I feel like we fill the time go with Googling ourselves that people used to spend like slamming two sticks together. Right, you know right, I mean? like, right. There's always extra time in your day. You've always got a little time to slam some sticks yeah. together. Or... or like whatever people used to do, go out back and check if their butter was ready. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Now in that time... Well, you, you know yourself. what, that, but at least you're making butter. You know, it's if true. you're making butter, going out, I mean, do you make your own butter? I've never done it. <clears throat> I would do that with you if you wanted to like... Would you? Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to like do a thing where we could make a thing for this show, then we'll go and we'll make some butter and then give it to distribute it amongst princesses. I would honestly love that. Yeah, I we think could... I think next time, if you will have me again after after this debacle, Yo, no, you, I... I think next time we should go, we should make butter or we should make our own almond milk. Well, here's the thing. I prefer cow milk because I'm frightened of smallpox. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know. But anyway, I'm just so, always so happy to see I'm you. I'm very happy to see you. So you know I adore you. Although it is commercial break time. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I think we could probably... No, no, we definitely have to have a commercial break. Okay, I'll Something be about CBS and continuing to do business. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll be right back with Lena Dunham. We'll right back. I didn't brush my teeth yesterday morning, and I felt guilty about it all day. Well, see, it's it's we're, we're back, we're back. Okay, hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm with Lena Dunham. Now, we're just talking about success, that you've had some success, a lot of success, like a huge amount of success very recently, but it won't, you know, it doesn't do what you think it's going to do. At least when I get some, I suspect that'll be the case. Like, it, it won't... <laughs> You still have to go to the dentist, you still yeah. have to, you know, deal with stuff, you still have to pick up the dog poo, you still have to yeah. do all that. And people will think that you don't do any of that, but you will still have to do it. No, it's, it's, I mean, I haven't yet had the, how do I articulate this properly? I, I have never, I didn't expect any of this, and I definitely didn't, and so, therefore, I expected my life to continue ex along exactly the same after I made the show and after everything happened, and it's been... It's been really interesting. It's, yeah, it'll it's, be very different now. It'll it's be different, very different and it's complicated. That's okay, though. You mustn't be afraid of that. I think that it's fine, you know, that you, you can just enjoy the oh. out of this. And, uh, <laughs> and, and there's, no, there's no crime in being successful. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. The only crime is if you compromise yourself to be successful, then you're one of them. That's but, my worst nightmare. Well, just don't then. You know, I, just, you know, like when they say to you, you know what you must really do, like these people that run stuff, like, like over there, you know, if they, <laughs> like they come over and say, here's what you must do, you say, yeah. I'll think about that, and then never do it. Do the opposite of totally. that. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That's why there's a few, yeah, I've had a few situations thus far where it's like there was this time that I like didn't wear any pants when I went out on a red carpet. I wore Beautiful. shorts, yeah. but they were under a long top. And <laughs> then... I got, I was on like fashion police or whatever, or whatever, oh, I was citizen's you, arrest you in Us Weekly. The, the, this, that is run by the disappointed for the disappointed, yeah. my friend. You don't want, you don't want any it, of that. You don't want any of that. I put it up on my fridge. Yeah. I put it on my fridge just because yeah. I was, well, fun, it's funny because whenever I'm looking through Us Weekly, the outfits that I want are always in the citizen's arrest. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least just, you know where to look. Yeah. yeah. That's we're, my we're, we're, we're out of time. You want a coconut? We're out of time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had such a good time and I don't want to go yet. Yes, I want a coconut. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I tell you what. This if coconut I give you... is a direct product of my success. Well, this coconut? Yeah. This is no ordinary coconut. You know, last you time. You take this coconut and plant it in the ground. Yes. And a giant beanstalk will grow. <laughs> Do you know that last time I was here, you um, gave me a bag of quarters that I'm still using to do my laundry? Continued no! success, Lady yes! Lyra!